Hi viewers, welcome to Chima class. Today's lesson, let's see how we can solve this simple but tricky question on subject form. Okay? We are required to make P the subject of the relation. The basic idea here now is we are going to arrange and make P to be in one side. Okay? Making P the subject form is all about isolating P or making P to stand alone. So we are going to arrange, perform an operation that will help us to arrange P in one side, then the other things in the other side. Alright, solution. Okay. Since here is multiplication, this is the same as a B times root R squared plus S squared. We are going to do what? Divide both sides by what? P. Okay? We say divide both sides by p all right so that we have m squared minus p l over p is equal to p over p all the root of r squared plus s squared okay over here this is what a fraction and this fraction is the same thing as saying m squared over p minus p l over p is equal to already this p has cancelled okay so that we have all the root of r squared plus s squared good over here if you look closely you will now understand that p and p have cancelled out so that we have m squared over p minus l because already this has done. Okay? Is equal to root r squared plus x squared. Since we want to make p the subject formula, we will do what? Add l to both sides so that we will be having only p. Okay? So we we'll add both sides by what? L. Mm? Add l to both sides. Alright. So add l to both sides. So that we have m squared minus l plus l over p is equal to l plus all the root of r squared plus s squared. Minus so that l, l squared will cancel. So that we have m squared over p is equal to l plus all the root of r squared plus what? s squared. Good. Now, we can easily what? Cross multiply. If you want, do you get it? We can cross multiply in order to make P a subject of the formula. This is like 1 over 1, which is equal 1. So when we cross multiply, we have something like this. We have something like this. M squared times 1. M squared times 1 is equal to all in P brackets L plus square root of R squared plus S squared. You close the brackets. When you cross multiply, this P will multiply all the terms in the right hand side. In the numerator, P will multiply all the terms in the numerator. M, M squared will multiply 1. Are you getting it? So M squared times 1, you have M squared. You just leave it like this. L plus all the root of R squared plus S squared. But it's P we want to make the subject of the formula. Therefore, we're going to divide through. Divide through by the equation of P. Divide through by the coefficients. By the coefficient of P. Coefficient is just the number multiplying a variable. So these are the coefficients of what P. Number attached to a certain unknown terms. Alright, so we have that. P is equal to m squared over l plus all the root of r squared plus s squared. That is the answer. That is, we are using this l plus r squared. We are using l plus r squared to divide both sides. So when we use this man, we divide m squared, we have m squared over l plus root r squared plus this. But when we use it again, we divide this place, we cancel that and be alone. Will be m squared over l plus all the root of r squared plus what? s squared. 
we have succeeded in what isolated me. So this is what we call subject formula. Your intention is just to what isolate me and make it to stand alone. All right, thank you for watching. Subscribe and check for other further work questions concerning subject formula. There are other, you know, some miscellaneous examples and exercises that are already been what uploaded via my previous lesson. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Tima Class for more in-depth lessons.